Well, with the passing of Bill C-68, Canada is the first G-8 nation to ban the harvesting, importing, and exporting of shark fins. Canadian filmmaker and activist Rob Stewart, the focus of the 2007 documentary Shark Water, worked for years to get the government to take action on the import of shark fins. He died in a diving accident while filming the documentary sequel in 2017, and we're fortunate enough to have Rob's parents, Brian and Sandy, here. They picked up his, their son's mantle, and they join us this morning. To both of you, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having us. It's thank uh, you. extraordinary. So Rob went to great lengths over the course of his career to really show people that what we saw on television and in films that was not the, 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 an accurate depiction of the nature of sharks. Yeah, sharks are these are really quite harmless when you think about it. There's only four shark attacks a year that result in a death. And it's usually because of mistaken identity. The sharks are looking for something to eat. There's less food in the oceans. They bite something. Usually, they don't even take removed yeah. flesh. And it usually gets a, a vein or something that gets, that gets, gets cut. How important was it for him, that, the, this mission, the, the, sort of the elimination of the import and export of shark fins? What, what did it mean to him? It was so important to him. He first saw the issue when he was down in the Galapagos Islands. And they were shark finning within a marine preserve, a protected area, a World Heritage Site. Uh, shark finning is where you cut the fins off of a shark. Uh, and he brought the issue to the world stage, uh, shark finning for shark fin soup. You know, uh, uh, you could go your entire life in Canada and never come into contact with anything That's remotely right. close to shark fin soup. But, it, but, but Canada... Canada is the third largest importer of shark fins outside of Asia. So, so, so what, what, why? Why it, is it I so popular it, here? I think it's a question of a large Asian population in Vancouver and in Ontario. And I think the question is they, they brought through traditions with them. And I think what's interesting is the Chinese millennials and young people that realize that this is wrong. They're helping champion this change. I mean, people like Kristen Wong Tam and others have stepped forward and said, we don't want it. And I think that it is time to stop it. And I think this is such a huge move. In fact, it's the first G20 country. Um, to ban shark finning. So I think this is the first step, and the U.S. is hopefully right behind us. Well, I'm glad you said that. This is the, f this is the first step. So ideally, if, if, if you could sort of write the, the next chapter of this, um, uh, of the protection of sharks uh, through legislation, what, what do you want to see happen next? The shark fin ban around the world. And we think the U.S. is very, very close, and it should be back on their roster in the fall. Uh, but Ground Zero is really Asia, so hopefully we can make some impact there as well. Yeah, we've, we've, taken, we've taken the film around the world yeah. over the last nine months. We've been to Hong Kong and all through Europe and Southeast Asia. What's been the reaction, especially the to reaction Asian has audiences? Been amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, Rob's getting accolades and awards from people all over the world at festivals. And I think the reality is what's intriguing for us is the sheer number of people are stepping up to help. We get emails every day saying, how can we help? So the forces are being united now. So I think the challenge is to say to everyone in all these other countries, we did it. You can too we're going to help. And I think that's, that's our mantra now, is we're going to uh, help in all those countries. We, we only have a few moments left, but um, you know, I've, I've got to ask, to, when, when, when a tragedy befalls a family, sometimes you've got to figure out a way to make peace with it and move on. But, but here, here you are with a living, breathing legacy of your son. Um, what does it mean for you that even though he's, he's passed, so much of him is still around you, is around us? He's got millions of supporters around the world, and we couldn't just, we couldn't sit by. We wanted to fulfill his mission, and he was just driven and passionate. Uh, the oceans, the sharks, so Amen. we wanted to keep going. And I think the next phase for us is to actually look into things like cosmetics, where squalene is being used in cosmetics, and people aren't aware of sharks. You know, shark squalene is in cosmetics all over the world, and we're working with the cosmetic industry on that basis. It's in pet foods, it's in fertilizers. So. You know, our work is going to continue on and Rob's legacy will continue because he, he had all these great projects he wanted to ex educate people on. Brian and Sandy Stewart, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing the story. And congratulations on this very, very big win on behalf of your son. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. All the best. All the best. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.